is to create the simplest computer, something so intuitive that you don't need to learn how to use it. Camera, if I'm trying to think of something that has internal components that with better specs, a better camera. The future of human machine interfaces should be more intuitive. That you still have to pull out of your pocket and you still have to have your phone. You still have to charge and has all day battery. Yeah, life. all day battery, it has mm -hmm. a... Rabbit OS recognized that Spotify has been authenticated on my device. Rabbit R1 revolution. Rabbit's latest AI technology, the R1, has generated significant attention due to its ambitious goals and unique features. Priced at $199, this standalone AI device, developed by Rabbit, aims to offer a distinct user experience without directly replacing smartphones, at least not immediately. Jesse Liu, Rabbit's CEO and founder, emphasizes that while the R1 has staggering ambitions, its primary goal is not to replace smartphones right away. The R1's physical design resembles a combination of a Playdate console and a modernized version of 90s-era handheld TVs. Its compact form, approximately half the size of an iPhone, features a 2.88-inch touchscreen, a rotating camera for photos and videos, and a scroll wheel slash button for navigation and interacting with the built-in assistant. The device incorporates a 2.3 GHz MediaTek processor, 4 GB of memory, and 128 GB of storage, all housed in a rounded body designed in collaboration with Teenage Engineering. The battery life is described as lasting all day. The tactile experience of using the R1 is enhanced by clicky and satisfying buttons, a characteristic associated with Teenage Engineering. Despite its ergonomic design, the device tends to attract fingerprints. However, the real innovation lies in the software, Rabbit's proprietary operating system, Rabbit OS, and the underlying AI technology. Hi, everyone. My name is Jesse, and I'm the founder and CEO of Rabbit. Yeah, but I, the, the multimodal AI thing is still really fascinating because I think... I'm excited to be here today to present you two things we've been working on a revolutionary new foundation model. Hey G, add this to my fitness pal and it just does it, right? Yeah. So is to create the simplest computer, something so intuitive that you don't need to learn how to use it. In contrast to traditional large language models like ChatGPT, RabbitOS is built upon a large action model, functioning as a universal controller for various applications. Jesse Liu emphasizes the quest for a universal solution akin to large language models aiming to trigger services seamlessly across websites, apps, platforms, and desktop environments. Rabbit OS's distinctive approach positions the R1 as more than just a handheld device, it becomes a versatile tool that adapts to different contexts and applications. This departure from conventional AI models showcases Rabbit's commitment to redefining user interaction beyond the boundaries of existing technology. The R1's initial success is evident, with Rabbit announcing the sellout of its initial 10,000-unit run, prompting pre-orders for a second shipment in the spring. The device's popularity suggests a growing interest in alternative AI-driven devices that offer unique functionalities. While the R1 may not aim to replace smartphones immediately, its success highlights a potential shift in consumer preferences towards more diverse and specialized AI-powered solutions. As Rabbit continues to push the boundaries of AI technology, the R1 stands as a testament to the evolving landscape of standalone AI devices. Rabbit OS – Streamlining Interactions Rabbit OS, with its flagship device R1, presents a novel approach to voice-controlled virtual assistants, aiming to simplify daily tasks by integrating various services into a unified interface. The concept is reminiscent of popular voice-controlled virtual assistants like Alexa or Google Assistant, but Rabbit OS seeks to streamline the user experience even further. At its core, Rabbit OS operates as a central hub that can control diverse functions, from music playback and transportation requests to grocery shopping and messaging, all through a single voice-controlled interface. The goal is to eliminate the need for juggling multiple apps and logins allowing users to make requests and receive services seamlessly. The R1 device features an on-screen interface organized into category-based cards, such as music, transportation, and video chats. 
The screen serves as a visual aid to verify the model's output. A distinctive feature of Rabbit OS is its large action model, a machine learning model trained to interact with existing apps without requiring developers to build specific APIs for the R1. Instead of relying on developers, Rabbit took a hands-on approach by having humans train the LAM through interactions with popular apps like Spotify and Uber. Should be able to talk to, understand, and more importantly, get things done for you. And when I see this, I see like this is a small device that has a camera and some processing power. The best way to achieve this is to break away from app-based operating system currently used by smartphones. Camera, if I'm trying to think of something that has internal components that with better specs, a better camera. LM chatbots over the past years have shown that a natural language-based experience. This training involved showing the model how to navigate the apps, recognize icons like settings, understand order confirmation signals, and locate search menus. The flexibility of the LAM allows it to adapt to various apps across different platforms. Additionally, Rabbit OS incorporates a dedicated training mode, enabling users to teach the device specific actions. Users can guide the device through tasks, and Rabbit OS processes the instructions to replicate the actions in the future. For example, a user could instruct the device on a specific Photoshop task, and the device would learn to perform that task independently in subsequent instances. The implementation of Rabbit OS involves both on-device functionality and a web portal called Rabbit Hole. Users can perform certain tasks directly on the R1, while Rabbit Hole serves as a centralized platform for logging into various services. For more complex tasks, such as teaching the device to use Photoshop, Rabbit provides a virtual machine on Rabbit Hole. Users can leverage this virtual environment to instruct the device without relying on their own devices and software. While Rabbit OS presents an innovative and ambitious vision for simplifying interactions with technology, the practical execution and user experience remain critical factors. The challenge lies in ensuring seamless integration with diverse users, devices, and platforms. The success of Rabbit OS will hinge on its ability to deliver on its promises, providing users with a convenient and efficient voice-controlled interface that simplifies their daily tasks across different services. As technology evolves, Rabbit OS stands as an intriguing player in the realm of virtual assistants, offering a unique approach to voice-controlled interactions. We envision a natural language-centered approach. The computer we're building... I can't remember the last time a big tech product has like come out earlier than everyone expected. Before this presentation, I pre-authenticated some other apps like Uber and DoorDash. They already have those kind of things, but the, the missing link right there was the, na the better natural language processing. The future of human machine interfaces should be more intuitive. 2.3 gigahertz MediaTek processor, four gigs of memory, 128 gigs of storage. Revolutionizing human computer interaction. Rabbit OS and the R1 device aim to revolutionize the way we interact with computers and accomplish tasks. In the context of the tech landscape, Rabbit OS appears to be a significant departure from traditional app-based operating systems. While similar voice-activated systems like Alexa or Google Assistant focus on basic commands and queries, Rabbit OS takes a more holistic approach by incorporating a large action model to learn and execute actions within existing applications. The central idea behind Rabbit OS is to simplify the user experience. Instead of navigating through various apps and dealing with different interfaces, users can interact with the R1 device using natural language commands. This paradigm shift from app-based operating systems could potentially streamline the interaction process and eliminate the need for multiple logins and applications. The LAM, or Large Action Model, plays a crucial role in Rabbit OS's functionality. Rather than relying on developers to create specific APIs for the R1, Rabbit took a different route. They trained the LAM by having humans interact with popular apps like Spotify and Uber, essentially demonstrating how these apps work. This approach allows the R1 to understand and execute actions within various applications without requiring explicit support from developers. One noteworthy feature of Rabbit OS is the dedicated training mode. 
Users can teach the device new tasks by providing step-by-step -step instructions. For example, users can instruct the device on tasks like photo editing in Photoshop, and the R1 will supposedly be able to replicate the actions independently. However, where these assistants struggle is still getting things done. That you still have to pull out of your pocket and you still have to have your phone. You still have to charge and has all day battery. Yeah, life. all day battery, it has mm -hmm. a... Rabbit OS recognized that Spotify has been authenticated on my device. Which will get added to Google Assistant like yeah. within a year. Yeah, this like... Rabbit OS recognized that Spotify has been authenticated on my device. This training mode aims to make the R1 a versatile tool that can adapt to individual users' needs. The R1 device itself is presented as a multifunctional companion. It incorporates a touch screen, a push to talk button, an analog scroll wheel, a microphone, and speakers. The device's capabilities include making video calls, functioning as a voice assistant, and even having a SIM card slot for mobile connectivity. However, its role doesn't seem to replace a smartphone entirely, as it is not as powerful and lacks certain functionalities. RabbitOS envisions a future where their AI-powered system becomes a universal interface for a wide range of tasks. The Rabbit Hole web portal is introduced as a means to connect various services to the R1 device, allowing users to customize their experience. The device's commitment to privacy is emphasized with a redirection approach during logins to ensure the security of user credentials. While the R1 is available for pre-order with expected shipping in March, questions remain about how well the device will perform across a diverse range of users, devices, and platforms. The concept of Rabbit OS challenges the conventional app-centric approach, offering a glimpse into a potential future where natural language interactions become the norm for executing tasks on computing devices. That's all for this video, folks. We'll see you next time.